free music. What's good, everybody? My name is Carlton Maybell, a.k.a. True Music, and today I will be showing you all how to play Man of the Year by Logic. A lot of people recommended this song, so we're going to get right into it. I just ask that before I teach you this song, I ask that you like this video uh, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I will be bringing more content every week. So, that's over with. Let's get into this song. Uh, this song is OBL, which means that it's one big loop. I love these songs that are just one big loop because they're real simple, but uh, to make it worth your while i'm going to show you all three variations of how they play this big loop so uh let's start off with the first one i'm going to play a little bit of this song for you first and then i'm going to show you how to play it the song is going to sound like this okay and then just repeats Okay, so like I said, it's one big loop. It just repeats. It's very, very simple. Let's get into teaching you this song. This song, uh, your left hand is going to start on a G natural in the bass. Okay. And your right hand is going to do a B flat, D natural, G natural. That's your first chord. Now, after this, your left hand is going to go to this higher G. And your right hand is going to hit that chord again. And then your left hand is going to hit the G again. And your right hand is going to hit the chord again. So it's going to be like a call and response, you know? Okay? So this whole song is really a lot of call and response. So I'll just call it that. So it's going to sound like this, the first part. Okay? One more time. Boom. Now the second chord is going to go right here. What that is, your left hand is going to hit an A flat in the bass. Your right hand is going to hit a C, E flat, G natural. Okay? Then after that, your left hand is going to go to this A flat, and you're going to do the call and response. So you're going to go. Okay? So we did. Okay? After this, you're going to go. All right? What that is, your left hand is going to hit a G. Okay? When it hits this G, your right hand is going to hit an A flat and an F. All right? So we're gonna go. Then your left hand's gonna hit an F. Then your left hand's gonna go to an E flat. Now when your left hand goes to this E flat, your right hand's gonna hit an A flat, E flat, G. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, not an A flat. It's gonna hit a B flat, E flat, G. Okay? So, so far, this is where we are, from the beginning. Okay, I forgot to show you all also that after you hit this, your left hand is going to go to this high G and you're going to do the call and response. So you're going to go. All right. Okay, simple enough. So, so we got. All right. Now, after this, we're going to go here. What that is, your left hand is going to hit a C in the bass. Your right hand is going to hit a C, E flat, G. Okay? Now, after you hit this, your right hand is going to, I mean, not your right hand, your left hand is going to go to this high G, and you're going to do the call and response. Okay? So you're... All right? Now, after that, you're going to go here. Which is essentially your first chord that I showed you. Your left hand is going to go to a G. Your right hand is going to hit a B flat, D natural, G natural. Okay? Then your left hand is going to go up to this high G to do the call and response. Okay? So we're. Alright? Then after that chord, we're going to go right here. What that is, your left hand is going to hit this C. And your right hand is going to hit a C. E flat, G natural, okay? Then your left hand's gonna go up to this G natural to do the call and response. Okay, so we got. Okay, let's play up to that part very slowly to remove all confusion. Very slowly, it's gonna go.
okay? Now after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go right here. Okay, what that is, your left hand's gonna hit an F, your right hand's gonna hit an A flat, F, A flat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> e flat, F, A flat. All right? Now this one's a little different. After you hit this chord, your uh, left hand's gonna go to an A flat, and your right hand's gonna hit a C, E flat, F, A flat. So it's pretty much just gonna add a C in there for the for the call and response part. So we're gonna go. Now add the C, and then hit your A flat again. Okay, so we're going. All right, and then we're gonna finish right here. What that is, your left hand's gonna hit a C in the bass. Your right hand's gonna hit a C, E flat, G. All right. Then your left hand is going to hit this G. Okay. Then your left hand is going to go down to the low C. And when it goes to the low C, your right hand is going to hit that chord again. All right. And then your left hand is going to finish by hitting this G one more time. So you're going to go. Okay. And that finishes the loop. Now you can essentially just play that and be done. The song just keeps looping and looping and looping, but I'll show you the other variations if you want to mix it up a little bit. Um, but first, let me play that whole entire loop for you one time very slowly to eliminate any confusion. The whole loop is going to sound like this. Okay, that finishes the loop, um, and that's the first variation of how you can play it. Now, the second variation is essentially exactly the same, except the ending, instead of doing, instead of doing that, we're going to do, okay, so it's just, and that's going to take us back to the top, okay, so, it's, like I said, instead of doing, we're gonna mix it up. So to play the second variation, um, all you have to do, your left hand's gonna hit this C, okay? Your right hand's gonna hit a C, E flat, G, okay? Then after that, your right hand's gonna hit this G right here by itself. Okay, so you're gonna go. Then your left hand's gonna hit this C by itself. Then it's gonna hit a D, when it gets to the D, your right hand is going to hit a C, E flat, G. And then you're going to finish by hitting this E flat in your left hand, and your right hand is going to hit a G natural. You're going to hit that together. Okay, I know that can be confusing. I'm going to play it slowly so you can understand it. It's going to go. Okay, one more time. One more time, very slowly. It's going to go like this. Okay, so up to speed, it'll sound like. Okay. So, to play the whole variation two, remember, only that little end part changes. So, to play the whole variation two from the beginning, it's going to sound like this. Okay. That finishes the variation two of how you can play it. So it's pretty much just a little lead in at the end. Now I'm gonna show you variation three. The variation three is just pretty much gonna add some octaves in certain places um, to give it a little bit more bass and a little bit more drive. Uh, so it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so it's gonna start off. It's gonna start off the same, same first part, same second part. All this is the same. You know this part already. Now this is where it gets different. 
It's gonna go. Okay? It's gonna go right here. Originally we would have did. Okay, but instead we're gonna do. What that is, your left hand's gonna hit a G natural octave. Your right hand's gonna hit a B flat, D natural, G natural. Okay? Then your right hand's gonna handle the call and response by itself. So you're gonna do. Then your right hand's gonna hit the G. Then it's gonna hit the chord. Then it's gonna hit the G again. Okay, so we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go right here. What this is, your left hand's gonna hit a C natural octave. Your left hand's gonna, I mean, your right hand's gonna hit a C, E flat, G natural. Okay? Okay, and it's gonna do the call and response with the G by itself. So it's gonna go. Now, this time, when you go back to this G, your left hand's gonna hit an E flat octave. Okay, to lead you into the next chord. Okay, so you're gonna go. This is gonna be your next chord. Okay, what that is, your left hand's gonna hit an F octave, your right hand's gonna hit a C, F, A flat together. This is gonna hit it again. Okay, so you're gonna go. Then you're gonna go right here. Okay, so what that is, your left hand is going to hit a C natural octave. Your right hand is going to hit a C, E flat, G. It's going to do, and then it's going to hit a G by itself. Then it's going to hit the chord again. When it hits the chord again, your left hand is going to go to this D natural octave. Okay, then your right hand is going to hit this G by itself. Uh, your left hand is going to hit an E flat octave. Okay, so you're going to go. Okay, that's the last variation. So I'm gonna play it where the variation starts. I'm not gonna play it from the beginning of this whole part of the loop. I'm gonna play it from where it actually changes. So it's gonna sound like. Um, okay, that's how it's gonna sound. So now I'm gonna play it from the very, very beginning. So you can understand this whole variation because I know it may be a little confusing. So from the beginning of variation three, it's going to sound like this. This is the variation right here. Here it comes. Okay. And that finishes the third variation. That is the whole song. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Those are three different ways or three different variations of how they play the song, Man of the Year. Um, but you can really just choose the first one and just keep looping through that one. Or you could choose the second one and loop through that. Either way you want to do it, that's how it's going to be done. Uh, make sure you leave your request in the comments. I am going to be releasing TrueMusic.com as soon as possible. I'm trying to get all the quirks figured all out. But it's going to be amazing. It's going to have free sheet music. Uh, you're going to be able to make requests straight to the site. So you can just put in song name, put in the uh, name of the artist. And it's going to, boom, pop up on the site. People can upvote them. And that way I'll know which what are the most wanted request out there and so the site is going to be really cool it's going to offer a lot of things to you all and everything is free so right now everything is just free man i'm just trying to help everybody out um so that's going to be hot uh that is all the news make sure that you subscribe like please like the video tell your friends about the video don't be stingy with this goodness uh and um make put any comments you want man so that i can feel appreciated even though i do feel appreciated you all really like the channel and so thank you all make sure also this is the last thing me and my wife as you see i have a ring i didn't have a ring when i first started the channel i wasn't married but now i am uh and i'm 21 years old so if you all want to hear about how it is to be 21 and married and you know everything that me and my wife go through and just hear about some really good topics Go to carltonandjasmine.com. I'll have the link in the description. You could check out. We have a podcast. It's also on the little purple podcast app on iPhone. And you can just check that out. It's going to be, that's a really good podcast. We have a lot of episodes out already. You can just tune in and check it out. Let me know what you think about that. And that finishes today's uh, tutorial. Uh, I will tune in with you all next week with some more hot fire. You all take care. Thank you for watching.